Hey, today we're going to take a look at Android Device Manager, and that's basically is a Google way of um, letting you have access to find your phone or find your tablet or find an, any of your device that yeah that any of your Android device that is. It's similar to um, to uh, to the iPhone stuff. Anyway, um, you want to go to to your Google to Google, go to the Play Store, and right here on the right hand side under you're in a setting icon, you want to go into right here, you'll find it Android Device Manager, and you're going to click on there. And it basically it's going to bring up your device on the yeah, right on top of the map here. It's going to bring up your device that you have on that account. So I'm going to change my account because I have two accounts. So I'm going to change my account to my main account. And right here, you can click here and it will show all your device. So if you look in that corner right here, you'll see my device, my Nexus, my Nexus, my Galaxy Nexus, my Nexus 7, my Note, and my Zoom. That's what I have within, under this account here. And, uh, my, and right now I have my Note with me right here. So I can click on that and it's going to find a note right where I am right now. And if you were to go down on the map, go down right here, you will see that it will find, I'm right here in, the, in that office right here right now at work. So it's kind of pretty close. So, and uh, let's see, so yeah, so you find it here and you can do, make it ring. So yeah, you can hear the device ringing. So if you lost your device, that's one way of of finding it. Um, you can you can um, change the name if you want to in the right in here. Um, so you can make sure you can click here to get a more accurate reading. So let's see if I go back down closer. Let's see what we got right here and it, it give you the area up to eight meters um what else can you do you can send a notification to your device right here click to send a notification to your device and oops you can erase oops i hope i didn't do it you can erase your, the, your device data and basically that's what that's all I see it can do for now. There's nothing else that it uh I think it's in the better version, so we have to wait until more stuff can be done. Um if you look back at my other video um under security for phones, you will see that um uh, I've been using where is it? Cerberus dashboard for quite a while. And this is all this, and I think this is this one is better than the device manager on there. And if you look here, you see I have my device right here. And if I was to, it basically does the same thing except this that one do a little more. You can track your device. You can get the info on the device. Uh, let's see. So right here to get the device information as to. Um, the batch right here tell you exactly what what Wi-Fi it's on um, network SIM card near, nearby a Wi-Fi network everything I mean it will just give you a lot more information on there and this one you can also find get call logs um, get mess um, text message log and phone call logs and you can take a picture you can take a video you can grab a screenshot um, you can put it in emergency mode and it just the list just goes on and on all the different things that you can do with this one. So that's why I rather this one instead than the Google manager manager. It's it's not enough. I mean it's free so it's good and it's a it's a good backup. But again this is um the Android device manager. Um try it out. Make sure that your phone is check make sure that your phone is hooked up in case you lost your phone because these devices are really expensive so you you need to have 
security like this one here, like Cerberus, or you need to have your Android device manager set up. This is Charlie. I'm out.